We did it. Woo! We made it. We're here. Welcome to another episode of Gary and Larry's Edible Adventures. And today, we are at a landmark, an Arlington, Virginia landmark, the broiler. Oh yeah, we're doing it. Larry, are you ready for this? Oh yeah, baby. I'm gonna take off my glasses here for a moment so that I can truly admire all the amazement that is the broiler in Arlington, Virginia. So what they do is they actually cut up their subs in half. So if you order a large, you actually get four pieces. Yeah. They cut each half in half. I got the deluxe steak and cheese. It's uh, it's always wonderful. I'm excited to wow. see what Larry got, although wow. he tends to be a little less adventurous. And I think that there is a common phrase that is used for Larry and his fandom of steak and cheeses. I think he is known as a basic bitch. Basic bitch, basic bitch, basic, basic, basic bitch. So what I got is, I got, a, I got a large steak and cheese. Yes. Plain. I mean, these these sandwiches are truly amazing. Look at that beautiful, delicious steak right there. Oh. 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 Look at the cheese melting. <sighs> oh yeah, babe. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I missed the broiler, man. It's been four years for you and at least six for me. And we've never been, this is our first time here together. It's true. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. The way they're, the way they. Oh God. The way how the bread is slightly toasted. It's not crunchy, but it's got a little bit of the toast flavor. This is truly phenomenal. It's still super soft, right? The cheese just wraps around the meat. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. Larry, uh, this is... Yeah. And they are definitely not skimping on the mayonnaise. Comment below if you're team mayonnaise on a steak and cheese because for me, it's essential. I know he doesn't like it, but it's essential for me. Mm. My goodness. Mm. This is amazing. Now, this place has been here forever. Mm-hmm. And you can understand why it's been here forever because it's that damn good. It just it's 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 hard to explain. It doesn't have that generic flavor. It definitely you, does not. And I'm sure people I'm sure people who love food watching this know what I mean when I say it the generic flavor. It's just the way they cook it. It's wonderful. Look at that. Wait, wait. Extreme close up. Oh my god. It's oh, wonderful. hopefully that won't be copyright infringement. It's a greaser. Daddy loves you. This is phenomenal. Mm. Literally every time I come here, I like I'm speechless. It's just it's so good. Like it it's What do you like most about the sandwich? The overall flavor, like like I was trying to say like the combination of how the bread is just lightly toasted, how the bread tastes with the meat and the cheese, how they cook the meat, everything just combined. It's just, to me, perfect. It's perfect, in my opinion. I mean, it's just... It's... <laughs> I'm speechless. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they just do it so well. And it's in Arlington. The parking lot is about as big as a shoebox. So timing of when you come here, gotta be very careful with the timing or parking could be an issue. That's for sure. The steak is just cooked so perfectly. You know, it's got that just juicy steak mm -hmm. feel. The right amount of cheese, it's not too little, it's not too much, they don't skimp on anything. And like I said, I'm team mayonnaise, so when they just kind of put it on there just nice and generously, I'm all about that life. 
believe me. Look at look at look at this bag of fries. Look at the look at the size of this. This is like a softball size bag of fries. Now let me peek inside and see. Oh, they're crinkle cut. Ah! Crinkle cut. <laughs> Would you look at that? Oh. Dun, 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 dun. I'm a crinkle cut fry. I'm a crinkle cut fry. Some may crinkle. some may refer to me as crinkle cut. Mmm. Mmm. Right. Oh my lord. Lawrence, have a fry and tell me about this fry. Oh wah 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 wah. Mm. Now with the fries. Minus the seasoning. Oh, oh yeah. God. The only thing that would make these better would be like some Cajun seasoning or something. These are like the flavor. Oh my That's God. That's what I was going to say. So minus the seasoning, they remind me a lot of, uh, of uh, Zaxby's fries. Yeah. Yeah. Where mm -hmm. you have just a little bit of the, a little bit of the softness, a little bit of the crunch. It's a fine line to walk, ladies and gentlemen. These are some of the best fries I've ever had. And I'm not just saying that. And the staff in there is so friendly. So I used to come here every Wednesday night with a group of friends. And um, the two cooks in there, I was like, you know, I, I remember, I was like, I was like, ah, I used to come in here every Wednesday night. And he was like, oh yeah, I remember you. I was like, you came in with an old guy. We used to joke about us having to change his diapers. And he remembered the guy's order. Like the the dudes remembered me. So I was like, oh, pretty crazy. Like they're so they're incredibly nice, and you can laugh and joke with them, and awesome. That's pretty amazing. That, yeah. that a guy would remember that from four years ago. Fucking phenomenal. Like ladies, I'm single. Okay, so if I ever ask you, hey, you trying to go to the broiler and grab some food? Don't be like, oh, no, that doesn't really sound like a good date. Because, you know, I mean, you might get in the mood after eating this place. Oh, my God. But, no, seriously. Somebody ever says, let's go to the broiler, don't turn that down. Because the broiler is amazing. Like, it is amazing. Fair enough. And I'm not, you know, like, some people overhype stuff. I'm not overhyping this. You go to look at it, it doesn't look like much from the outside. It's old. It's inside of these vintage looking booths and stuff, but I'm telling you, those are the places that are just phenomenal, period. They are. It's not a chain. I've talked before about how I'm team American cheese. However, when it comes to the broiler, that is the one exception I will make and I will eat provolone because it is absolutely amazing. Comment down below what kind of cheese you like on your steak and cheese. You know, maybe you're an American cheese person, maybe you're a provolone mm -hmm. person, maybe you're a cheese whiz person, I don't know. Let me know down below which team you fall on. Mm. Well, as you uh, head into your final bites, as we get ready to wrap up another edition of Gary and Larry's Edible Adventures, Larry, a scale of one to five, what do you rate mm. the broiler? Five out of five. He says this every video. In my life. Wait, 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 wait. Editing Gary, please back me up on this. Good pizza. Yes. You agree? Five stars? Oh, yeah. I'm going to give it a five. Five. Five stars. Five. I'm going to have to give this a five stars. This, I'm going to have to give it a five. Five stars. Yeah. Hands down, five out of five. It's five out of five. Five stars. You see, you always say a five out of a five. You're a shill. You're <laughs> bought and paid for. Look at you. This show isn't rigged, okay? We research the places we go, and we don't go places that have bad reviews. But maybe we should. Maybe, just maybe, in a future video. Okay, I'll tell you what. If this video, and I know we're still relatively new here, if this video can get 100 likes, we will go to a one-star Yelp review restaurant. Oh yeah, one Make it star. Happen. Mm. Make it happen. Lowering my standards. Mm. 
All right, well, we're gonna wrap it up. I will also give the broiler a five out of five, and no, I'm not a shill either. Thank you guys so much for watching. We do appreciate it, and we will catch you next time on Gary and Larry's Edible Adventures. Thank you. We pick bomb ass places to go to. That's true. That we that we 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 we, we, we hooked on phonics works for me. We re we re we, we god damn it! I can't <laughs> talk today. Obviously, it's gonna be a five out of five. Or that we've never <laughs> and <coughs> you're right. You're right. You're right, mate. Oh hello. Oh my god, they're seeing me without my shades on. All right, let me put my shades back on. <laughs> All right, look. Before we wrap this up, I'm gonna put my shades back on. Be cool for the camera. Like the. All right, comment down below. <laughs> just comment down below and just your thoughts in general, as well as. Yeah, I forgot what I was gonna say. Be sure to you, Gary. <laughs> well, before we wrap it up, let me put back on my shades so I can feel like a cool guy. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys so much for checking out this. <laughs> thank you guys so much for checking out this edition of Gary and Larry's Edible Adventures. Comment down below some of your favorite places to check out, as well as just any other thoughts on your mind. Don't forget to hit that like button. Hit it, baby! Ugh! Roads, where we're going. We don't need roads. <laughs> Get the phone out of my place! All right. Comment down below some of the... <laughs> this camera cut off finally. Me. It's fine. Uh, we got one left. All the links down below. Isn't everything's down below. Everything, including the Titanic. Jesus, that got dark really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That's it. Cut. Uh, Dip It's like... <laughs>